Hey, everybody. Ben Fredrickson here alongside Jeff Gordon talking a little blues hockey at stltoday.com. Gordo, do you remember those days? Felt like it was just yesterday. We were wondering where the Blues were going to find ways to play all these defensemen they had. It felt like they were they were, uh, they were, were running over with defensemen, and now all of a sudden it looks a little thin. Marco Scandella, right before camp starts, out with a pretty serious long-term injury. And now Scott Perunovic in one of these early exhibition games goes down with what seems to be a pretty concerning one as well. All of a sudden that blue line that was supposed to be so deep is uh, looking a little thin. Yeah, the Perunovic injuries is, is especially uh, hurtful because this is a player they need to uh, develop this season into a key player going forward. This is a guy that fits the age group of Robert Thomas and Jordan Cairo, the new nucleus of this team. Uh, they have some older defensemen who are on contracts with some term, but they need to develop a younger guy to balance the the, the payroll. And, you know, he's an offensive minded guy, good for the modern game, and he can play on the power play as he showed in the playoffs last year coming back from injury. But he can't stay on the ice, man. Terrible blow for him. And then as far as the team goes, you know, Scandella, you're going to shrug that off if you're Doug Armstrong, because now you have cap space, you have flexibility. If you had seven D men plus Kelly Rosen, who filled in for you last year, you feel like you can go into the season in pretty good shape. Now you're down to six plus Kelly Rosen. And inevitably somebody else is going to get hurt. And, you know, Ben Fred, you've got a lot of depth up front that you feel really good about. You do not have as much depth on the blue line. And frankly, this was an area they needed to improve this year. And this is not a good way to, to start the, the, the road to improvement with your defensive core to have two guys get wiped out long before the season starts. There's a lot of obviously conversation around the Nick Letty contract as well. Um, you know, some folks thought maybe that was a guy they could have done without. Some folks would have loved to see maybe some of that money go toward David Perron um, to keep him from going to Detroit. How much pressure do you think is on Nick Letty to prove that he can be a guy the Blues were smart to bet on? And also, could the the current kind of, uh, I guess, injuries lead to him being in the spotlight even more? Yeah, I mean, they need him to play a top four role. They need him to help some at some point in some capacity, perhaps in the power play as well, because, again, that's something that was in the real strong uh, point for Perunovic. And, and, you know, this is a, a signing that, boy, almost nobody in the analytics community around hockey liked, because while he is good at getting the puck out, Nick Letty's a good skater, and he certainly helped the Blues last year, uh, helped them get to the uh, the point where they were giving Colorado a pretty good run in the second round of the playoffs. You know, it's just the years, the dollars, and, uh, you know, the overall play of Nick really questioned by a lot of the folks around the league. Now, with the injuries, he absolutely has to live up to that contract. He's got to prove some of those skeptics wrong. And another guy, Ben Fred, is uh, Colton Pareko. Good second half last year, uh, much better, but not a great ending against Colorado. Admittedly, that team makes a lot of people look bad. But he needs to have that start to finish strong all-around season to be a true number one defenseman. Uh, he's not at – hasn't been at that level. Uh, this team needs him to get to that level. This kind of feels like the season with Pareko Gordo where it's either – time for him to meet really sky high expectations or, or time for the expectations to be readjusted. That it feels like that's fair that he's been around long enough where he's either going to break through or he's going to be a guy who's a good player, but maybe wasn't the player that blues and a lot of their fans thought he could be. Is that, is that too harsh or is this the year? You know, some fans will never feel great about Colton because he's not overly physical. He doesn't use that size like a, like a maniac, but yeah, if he's, if he can be more aggressive and more, con, you know, assertive and more consistent. Um, I think he could be a, a real good player, a guy that he's taking tough minutes, killing penalties, facing up against top lines. Uh, it, I think he could be a real good player. He's not going to be a superstar, but I think he can be a real good player. That's what the team needs. Will he ever be the guy? Will he ever be Larry Robinson? Will he ever be an Al McKinnis, a, a, a Chris Pronger? No, but uh, he could be a Jay Bowmeister, a, a younger Jay Bowmeister. And, and that would be a good place to start for the Blues to get better on the blue line. But boy, so many questions, you know, just 10 days ago, we didn't have so many questions. Now we have more questions. It's kind of like hockey. You know, you show up to training camp, you blow the dust off your skates, and all of a sudden you're playing games. That's kind of how we've, we've dove into the uh, the topics here. There's not, a, there's not a slow start for the NHL, and the Blues are now have some big questions on their defensive side. The good news, they've got some cap space that they need to try to add with the Scandella injury. Initially, we kind of thought they might sit on that, just let it play out. Now they've got some freedom if they feel like they need to do something. Doug Armstrong, I would imagine, is wanting to see how things develop here, but you never want to say Army's not going to do something because 
usually when you have them think you think you have them figured out, he goes and has a surprise. So we'll see how this develops and keep it locked at stltoday.com for all of your blues news from Jeff Gordon, Jim Thomas, Tom Timmerman, and the gang. And we'll have more of these videos as the season progresses. For Jeff, I'm Ben. We'll talk to you next time.